Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. The tales I shall tell come from veterans of the Horus II operation. Horus II consisted of five orbital stations powered by nuclear electric propulsion and smaller landing crafts. The stations were assembled in Earth orbit and had each a nuclear reactor at the bottom. Apart from providing heat, the reactor evaporated silicon oils into steam, which then rose through a central shaft to power a turbine, which generated electricity. The steam was then funneled into a giant circular cooler, where the frost of space condensed it again to flow back to the reactor. The main method of propulsion of the stations were ion thrusters, where the electricity charged a platinum grid. Through this grid was then blown evaporated cesium. The charge ionized the cesium atoms to blast them out into space at a rate of billions per second, thrusting the spaceship forward at incredible speeds. At the top of the ships, opposite the reactor and shielded from it by the cooler, were the living modules that could house teams of up to 20 astronauts and generated artificial gravity through centrifugal rotation. Atop the modules sat the auxiliary landing gears. The journey to Mars took many, many months. Once settled, the landing gear was manned, and each ship's crew landed in a different region of Mars. Despite minor setbacks, the Horus II operation was an outstanding success and laid the most crucial groundwork for all future Horus missions. I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to the coming ones. Make sure to like and subscribe, visit the project's original website, and maybe also check out my Patreon, Yuenwa.